Hello YouTube and welcome to another VMware tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you the best reporting tool for your VMware vSphere environment. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually this tool is called uh, RV Tools. So you go to your uh, browser and just you type RV Tools as you can see here. So normally the first link will actually redirect you to this uh, web page robware.net okay and this is the main page for rv tools okay so as you can see here rv tools is a windows.net application which uses vmware vSphere management sdk 8.0 and cis rest ipi to display information about your virtual environment okay so we're gonna actually download it and see what we can actually view with it okay so the process to, to download it is very simple because actually it's free so all you have to do is to go here to the bottom you can view also the documentation if you want and all you have to do is actually to download from the official website okay so it's a couple of information that you must actually register in order to download this uh, actually application. So me, I already downloaded it as you can see here on my desktop. So let's run it and follow the steps. okay so this is the license agreement so we have of course to agree and a couple of next so this is the scope of uh, the installation so i will install it for everyone and next now the rv tools is being installed Here we go, this is the user account control, so of course I have to click on yes, and we are done, okay? So here you can see the icon has appeared on my desktop, so I will click on it. Okay, so here you can see the message to directly manage a single host, enter the IP address or the host name so me I have here uh, uh, actually an ESXi host which has an IP address 192.168.1.202 I'm not using any Windows uh, session credentials so I will log on with my uh, normal credentials and of course I will log in So here RV Tools is doing its inventory. Here we go, and now you can see the main page of RV Tools. So actually there are some menus, okay? So the file menu, the edit, the view, the VM ex health and help okay and here at the center of the window we have a lot of tabs so the first tab is the info so here I get all the VMs that I have I can of course sort it by name so it's giving me the power state so as you can see here I have just let's sort by the power on for example I have only two that are power on it's CentOS VM and Arch Linux VM okay so here it telling me is if it's a template or not and we have also some config statute some DNS name if it's connected or not the guest state if it's running or not okay and also the time when the 
VM has been started. Okay, so a lot of valuable information here. The creation date, the change version, how many CPUs that this VM is actually using, how many memory, okay, and also some uh, info about our next network cards, the disk it uses, the total disk capacity, and so on. Okay, so bench bench of information, of course, for our VM. Here you can see the primary IP address of the VMs. So it has a bunch of information. The resource pool also. So this is just the first tab, which is VM info. Okay. We can also go to the second tab, which is vCPU. And you guess it, it will give us a lot of info about uh, actually CPU used by our VMs. And of course here I can sort always in each column I can sort it. So for example for this Arch Linux VM it has two CPUs with two sockets but just one core. Okay. So this is the second tab and of course here it's showing us the host which in my case is esx1.vsphere.local okay the third tab it's about memory so it gives us the size in megabytes the memory reservation locked to max and the maximum to consume it the shared okay so a lot of a lot of information about the memory okay Fourth tab, it's about the disk allocation for each VM. Okay. You can also get information about the CDs if they are connected or not, the device node. Okay. So here you can see valuable information. Okay. Information about also snapshot. So as you can see here, I don't have any snapshot in my uh, environment. You can also actually get information about the VM uh, tools and one of the most interesting thing here is that you can actually upgrade the VMware tools from this window here okay so here is giving me the VM version so as you can see here for some VMs I have version 17 and for some I have only for example 10 so you can click on the VM and upgrade it from here, okay? And of course, a lot of information about the switch that, that your uh, host has, okay? Also the data store, which is very, very informative, actually info about your data store address the config status accessibility okay and of course the capacity of it you can also get information about uh, the license for your vSphere so here you can see I have a vSphere 7 enterprise plus license and if you continue at the end there is also a pretty interesting tab called vHealth it gives you actually the health of your VMs so and it gives us some valuable information that you can exploit for example here it's telling me that the VMware tools are out of date or not running or not installed actually in this Arch Linux machine okay so here it's giving me also that uh, the VM has a CD-ROM device connected okay and also some information about security for example here uh, for this host the SSH service is running normally you should not run it unless you are doing some administrative tasks okay so all those are actually message that 
you can take a look at from time to time in order to see what's going on in your vSphere actually environment okay and finally you can also get this information from the menus okay and one of the most interesting thing that uh, actually you can do is you can uh, also export all to an excel file so for example let me go here to the VN info tab and export all to an excel file so I will export it for example to my desktop here actually it export all will export all uh, the info in the tabs so let's open it and see what we get so this is the file here the excel file so I will click on it so this is our excel file so you'll find actually the tabs here at the bottom so each tab is associated with uh, with sheet actually so the first one is the vinfo sheet and the vcpu v memory v disk v partition so it's always good to have that in a file so you can send it to someone else or you can do some exploitation like uh, for example getting graph from this excel sheets okay so i find this uh, tool actually very simple to use and also it gives you a lot of lot of information about your vSphere environment so that was just a quick video to show you this uh, best and simple interesting reporting tool for your vSphere vmware environment as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye